Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about HRM, Human Resource Management. We will talk about its definition, its place in the management process, and its importance. Firstly, I would like to start with its place in a management process. In a management process, we can see multiple functions to be carried out by the managers. For example, planning, organizing, staffing, leading and controlling. And as you can see, staffing is actually the HRM function. According to Gulick and Orvik, the work of the executive can be summarized as postcorp. By postcorp, they mean planning, organizing, staffing, directing, uh, coordinating, reporting, and budgeting. And staffing is the key notion that we are interested in because it reflects the HR function. But before explaining this HR function, uh, I can briefly mention uh, about the other functions. For example, planning. There are the things to be completed. If we remember the definition of management or administration, uh, we can remember uh, Ulrich's uh, definition, getting things done. In order to get those things done, you need to outline the things. Who is going to do what, when, how? So those things should be planned ex ante. So before the implementation, before the execution. And organizing. What will be the formal structure of authority? Who is subordinate to whom? What are the job, for example, definitions of anybody who is working uh, for a job? Which division that he is going to work? So... Those things are related to organizing. I will come back to stuffing. Directing. So some de decisions should be taken. So how those decisions will be taken. How orders will be given. So those issues, decision-making process related issues are uh, directing uh, peculiarities. Coordinating. So there are multiple tasks. There are many tasks. They are separate tasks, but interrelated tasks. So we need coordination. Remember this from the division of labor principle. We divided the complex production process into simple tasks. So those separate tasks, but interrelated tasks should be coordinated. So that's why coordination is very important in order to relate those separate tasks. Reporting. Uh, you may wonder if you have achieved your objectives. You may wonder if really somebody is doing the job that is planned. So how can we understand if we are stick to the plan or not? So somebody needs uh, to keep those records. And those records are reporting, budgeting. So how much money we spent? So is it enough? Uh, do we need uh, economy? Do we need uh, to minimize the expenses? So that is related to budgeting function. And staffing function, that is the focus of this um, course. This is the personnel function, this is the human resource function, and it includes many functions as well, such as recruitment, such as training and development, such as performance management, compensation management, etc. So as you can see, HRM is one of the core functions of management process. So. What do we do? What do we do in terms of HR function? What do we do in uh, terms of personnel function? 
somebody needs to be hired because if you remember the definition of administration with reference to Simon, we need cooperative effort. We need coordinated effort. We need cooperation with others because we cannot move the rock alone. So we need others. If we need others, we need, we need uh, to hire. We need to recruit some people. We need more people to get those things done. In order to recruit, we need to select people. How are we going to select? In order to select, we need job analysis, for example. Or we have selected, we have recruited people. So how are we going to um, evaluate their performance? If they are doing good job, if they are doing the things in the right way, if they are doing the right things. So how are we going to understand if they are effective, if they are efficient? How are we going to compensate them? How are we going to give uh, wages to those people? What would be the elements of, uh, of, of their wage? And we are dealing with uh, people, so they do have problems. How are, go how are we going to manage those relationships between uh, workers, among workers, between workers and managers, between employees and employees? So, in order to manage those relationships, we need HRM as well. And of course, training and development. Uh, we hired people, but we need uh, to upgrade their skills, for example. So what do we need to do then? We need to train and develop those employees. HR job duties are strongly related to uh, those functions I have already explained to you. For example, an HR specialist can be and should be a job analyst. We will explain what job analysis is in the future, but job analysis is very important and in my opinion it is the most important uh, element of HRM. And it should be the first step, by the way, you need to collect information about jobs in order to prepare a job description. And in that job description, you need to find out what kind of a person do you need, uh, those person, those people will work where, what will uh, their tasks. So everything will be, should be analyzed in job analysis uh, stage. On the basis of this job analysis, we should recruit people. So an HR specialist should be a recruiter as well. People will apply to the job. So are they suitable for the job? So recruiters should select the best people for those uh, positions. Compensa compensation managers. So we need to go give those people salaries. So what components will it include? What will be their benefit plans? What will be uh, their fringe benefits? So apart from their salaries, uh, what sort of fringe benefits they will get? What will be extra advantages to work in this uh, company, for example? How they will uh, be accommodated in terms of, for example, food or transportation or health insurance, etc. Those things needs those things need to be uh, explained uh, before the recruitment to uh, the people who are applying to the post. Training specialist, we need to increase and upgrade their skills and knowledge. So how are we going to do this? By means of training and development. So a HR specialist should also be a training specialist in order to plan, organize and direct the training activities. Labor relations specialists. So you need to manage the relationship between workers, among workers, and between employees and the manager. 
and including uh, trade unions for sure. So we can define human resource management with, with reference to uh, their functions. So you don't have to memorize the definition, just try to remember what sort of jobs that an HR specialist is uh, doing. HRM is the process of acquiring, so this function is related to recruitment. HRM is the process of training, so this function is related to training and development. Appraising, uh, this is related to performance evaluation, compensation management, uh, performance management, and compensating employees. So it is related to compensation management and labor relations. So as you can see, actually, we have already talked about those functions in terms of HR duties. So uh, it, it is enough for you to remember those HR duties in order to define what HRM is. But we can also add more dimensions to those definitions, such as we can include, for example, strategic dimension, uh, because those functions are separate. They seem separate, but actually they are related to each other. So we need a coherent, integrated and strategic per perspective to those HR functions. So that's why those HR functions should be integrated into each other. I cannot recruit a people if I do not have a job analysis. If I do not know why those people are hired, how am I going to train and develop their skills? If I do not know uh, their success standards, how uh, will I know uh, how am I going to evaluate their performance? If I do not know their performance, how am I going to evaluate their uh, compensation uh, salaries, for example? So that's why we need uh, to look at HRM from a broader perspective, from a strategic perspective, from an integrated perspective. So in the first a definition we have just mentioned, for example, the functions of HRM in the second slide, in the second definition, I have added a strategic dimension, a strategic integrated and coherent approach to the definition. And finally, in our last definition, we can see more specific emphasis on our strategic objective. In strategic management, you may remember, our main objective is to, uh, to achieve and maintain the competitive advantage. In order to have this uh, persistent competitive advantage, I need highly committed and capable workforce. So, as you can see, actually, I have added more dimensions here. Here I have already had a strategic dimension, but here this time in the third dimension, I have added specific points to my HR definition. So that's why we need to understand HRM from a strategic perspective. It is not only a... Uh, a series of separate functions. No, they are integrated, and those integrated functions, those interrelated functions, should be linked to strategic objectives. Otherwise, we will not be able to achieve persistent, sustainable, competitive advantage, because human resources are one of the most important elements to achieve and maintain competitive advantage. Thank you for listening. We will continue uh, with the importance of HRM in the next course. Thank you very much. See you later.